Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Reactive Chemistry module. This is video number 27 and continuing our little series of looks at the factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction. And in this one, we're going to be looking at reactant concentration. In the last video, we looked at surface area and we looked at a reaction involving uh, zinc, solid, and hydrochloric acid to form uh, hydrogen gas and zinc chloride. One of the things that we looked at in this particular reaction was the fact that when we change the surface area of the zinc, we can increase the rate of the chemical reaction. However, there is another way of doing that in this particular reaction. If you think about the zinc as a single individual particle, uh, that must collide with the other reactant particles in order to um, for the reaction to proceed. In fact, specifically, if you think about the fact that if this is a zinc atom and this is a hydrogen ion, for example, then what we know is going to happen in this case is the electrons going to transfer from the zinc to the hydrogen so that the hydrogen becomes an atom. In fact, it'll join with another hydrogen to form um, the hydrogen H2 diatomic uh, gas molecule and the zinc ion. So zinc will become a two plus ion. So these two have to actually collide with each other. In fact, um, you can see from the equation, the, re the uh, mole ratio is actually one to two. So we need two of these hydrogen ions to collide with the zinc in order for the electrons to be exchanged and for that displacement to occur. We can increase the chance of this happening simply by, ha by having more H plus ions. The chances of these H plus ions actually interacting then with a zinc atom is much higher. This is how increased concentration works. As the concentration of one of the reactants increases, so the chances of collisions become more likely and therefore an increase in the concentration of at least one of the reactants is equivalent to an increase in the reaction rate. Is in terms of surface area, we were looking at the fact that surface area really relates very much to um, reactants that are solid. So we can break the solid down into smaller and smaller pieces. With something like hydrochloric acid, on the other hand, it's a solution. So therefore, this is about concentration or molarity. It's about the number of moles that are present in a given volume. So if the volume doesn't change and we want an increase in the concentration, then we have to have a greater number of moles. We increase the number of moles, we increase the concentration. This means there's more particles available, and so therefore we have an increase in the rate of the reaction. If we use the concepts of kinetic theory and collision theory, we can explain why factors like surface area and concentration lead to changes in the rates of chemical reactions. And just like our other factors, hopefully you'll have the opportunity to investigate the effect of changing the concentration on the reaction rate. Thanks for watching.